The next time you want to store additional information that exists in another file format, try making it an attachment. Now let's take a look at how easy it can be to store additional information with a record in a form. As an example, in this form, I like to be able to attach files to records when I have additional information about a product. First, I will need to add an attachment control to this form. And if I wanted to add attachment control to the form first and then bind that control to another table, I will first need to make sure that the table has an attachment field. So let's go ahead and first switch to the design view, listing fields. And here's a list of fields available from the table, in this case the suppliers table, which is providing data for this form. To attach a field from another table, I must first create an attachment field in that table. In this example, I'll use an existing attachment field. And I will just drag that attachment field to where I want the control to appear and there I'm done. Let's go back to the form view to see how this will appear in the form. There, the attachment control is available and I'm ready to add any attachment that I want to this record. So to add an attachment, I will click on the control, click on the paper clip icon, and you can see a list of files available I'm going to add this picture of the product and there the graphic has been attached. Now see I want to attach another file to the same attachment field. I repeat the process and select another file. This time it's going to be an Excel workbook. And now, though I've attached multiple files to the same attachment field, the field can only show me what the information from one attachment at a time. If I want to see the other attachments, I will have to click on the scroll arrows. And there's my second attachment, and there's my first attachment. Now, let's take a look at how you can manage the attachments. Say you want to remove a file that you've attached. Just click it and remove it. Let's go ahead and remove both the files. Well, it seems like it's still there, but it has been removed. I'm going to go ahead and save my changes. And just to show you that the attachment's really gone, I'll just click another record and come back. And there, you see that the attachment is no longer there. So now you've seen how easy it is to add an attachment control to a form and then add any attachment that you would want to individual records. If you'd like more information, check out the other articles, demos, and training information available on Microsoft Office Online.